Well, I'm Austin Pico with Thermal Crew, and we are really excited about getting put together with Fusion and getting to run all their stuff. I've got, I'm pretty impressed with what I've seen so far, shooting thousand yards in the middle of the day with a Fusion. I mean, that's it's pretty impressive getting to do that. So I'm really excited about getting to put some content together using these optics. And we have access to over 80 properties out here and our goal is to provide the best thermal hunting experience and provide the best content for you to watch from the house. So just, it's we love what we do and we try to give everybody the best experience what we can do. He took me out uh, for the first time uh couple weeks back and we had a blast. We set up to about 2 a.m. and uh, I actually shot one of the biggest boars I've shot in my life here with Austin. It, it was well over 300 pounds. So the fog was horrible. Yeah, uh, I mean, and that, that's a thing. When you're out in this country like this, sometimes you gotta battle the elements, all these fusions, 100% waterproof. And on top of that, they uh, they see through frog pretty well. You just gotta turn up yep. the contrast. But uh, yep. we're looking to, to get some great videos tonight and hopefully kill a bunch of pigs and coyotes. And uh, again, if anyone's in this area and looking for a uh, or even not in this area, he has guys yeah. fly in from all over the country. So if anyone's looking for a good time, wants to uh, go out and kill some pigs with some thermals, yeah, and hit up Austin and uh, Thermal Crew, right? Yep, you find us on Facebook, and Instagram, a little bit of TikTok, and we're working on YouTube <laughs> right now. There we go. So, <laughs> so we'll have a lot more to come for you guys, but uh, stay tuned. So we're pulling up to our first property here. Uh, Pierre is about to fly fly his drone. Um, I think they threw some corn out here last night. This is a, a surefire spot according to them. So he's about to get his drone out and do a little flight and see what we can see. Um, you got a, that's a thermal drone, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so um, Pierre's got a thermal drone, which if anyone doesn't know, that's basically a, a cheat code and a time saver. Uh, it saves you a lot of driving, a lot of walking, a lot of scanning, um, but it's, it's awesome. And it saves hours and hours of scanning and driving tonight. So. It used to take me two hours to ride a piece of property. Now I can fly it in less than 10 minutes. And then if they're there, we unload, go get them, we pull up the gate, and I fly it, and ain't nothing ever go to the next property. Mm -hmm. Might fly three or four properties sometimes to get in, and sometimes I fly five properties to find them in every property. Mm -hmm. So it's a game changer. I mean, it's, it's, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> if they're there, we know they're there, we see them, we know where they're at. All you gotta do is know the, which way the wind's blowing out. Right. All you gotta do is work your wind. Yes, yes. If you're just getting into pig hunting, that's that's kind of rule number one right there when you're stalking them is get downwind of those pigs or they will smell you and run out of there. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it with the drone. Um, saves you a lot of time, a lot of scanning, a lot of walking. And uh, once we find them, we basically go get downwind and put a play on them, get as close as we can, get set up on the tripods and, and let them have it. <laughs> What we're gonna do, we're gonna have to go in this gate right over here, right right along here, we're gonna get all the way to the wood line, and we're gonna ease around over there to get about where that is, and then, well, a little closer, and y'all can walk up there. Bust them up. We're about to shoot us a few pigs. Our wind's going this way, all, all the pigs are right over here on that far tree line, so we're gonna try to stay to the left of them, hit the tree line, and then the property 90s, and so when we hit that tree line, we're gonna walk up that fence line and try to get between them and the trees, because they're gonna try to run to the trees once we start shooting. So, we get between them and the trees, we got more shot opportunities, so. About more, how many of them uh, are there over there? I think there's about 10 of them over there. That's, that's big enough to see, because we didn't get too close with the drone. So, 10 for sure that's, bigger the little pigs is hard to see from from the drone but ain't nothing to it but to do it yes sir the top raised button. middle okay just happened <laughs> and there's one ahead of that's them. a big one too man they're moving there's one ahead of them too yeah that one, that one's moving like it does. Just want to go down right here and then cut in. You want to cut him off? Yeah, you want to do this? We'll do that. Uh, whatever we do, we better go. I don't think that's one up right here. What's up? Huh? What'd you say? I don't think I don't think that's one bedded down. Oh, 
One zero, okay. I'm ready when you are. Three, two, one. Check to your left. Oh my. Nice. Moving your right. Yep, that's him. Good that shot. Down. Good shot. Right, I'm gonna check to your left, see what's in the tree on. All right, I'm skipping back. All right, you're holding the first one. That's a good shooting guy. I appreciate it. Both sides. Y'all double tap this first one? Hey, Ryan. Yep. What's up? Walk that way. I see a little bit of heat. Y'all laying them? No. I think there's like one feet behind or like that. Just keep. I was going to say, it's probably 100 to 150. Go right, straight, left, straight. Don't act like he's heavy. <laughs> he hit it like three no, times. I mean, uh, I took one to the shot. That was, no, this one took one. That was it. It is one shot. So that, it dropped immediately. Yeah, this is the one I shot. I put it right on the... Right behind the ear. That's right where I was going. This way, ready? Uh, I don't know, because I shot that one. I didn't see this one until after he hit oh, okay. it. He got back up, and I started throwing lead at him. What's in his mouth? Oh. Hey, yeah, there's one through his head right here. Look at that. Yep. <laughs> Dude's jaw. Good shot. He didn't die right away, so it ain't good enough. <laughs> Let's go find more. With this spot for the night, pulling back up to the truck, and uh, we're right next here to this, this gas plant um, under the, the bright lights, if you will, Friday night lights. And I kid you not, 50 yards from the truck, in the lights, we pull up on this pig, and uh, it took it took about 20 seconds for us to get our our thermals on and recording, but uh, me and Perrin exploded his head. <laughs> Chunk of meat. Look at that piece of meat. That's a piece of meat. What now? That's a piece of meat. <laughs> Did they ever get over here? No. no. That's where they died, over right? There. <laughs> yeah, we checked one last spot and uh, found some on the drone. Pulled up to them. Big swamp. And they took off running across the swamp. And P over here got his drone out and rounded them up back and forth, wore them out, and then drove them right to us. Uh, we unloaded on them. Um, basically, they were so tore up, there was nothing to pick up, nothing left of them. So we left them out here, but these are the other ones we shot tonight. And as Austin asked about at the beginning of the video, did the cameraman shoot a gun as good as a camera? <laughs> cameraman <laughs> shot well. You shouldn't have said that. Yeah, he spoke to one of his first shots, so. Big thanks to Austin for uh, getting us out here. Thermal crew hit them up. I think we ended up with 13 or 14 picks for the night. Um, it's a good time. Fusion ran great, even in the humidity. Uh, got good clarity through the fog, so that's all we can ask for. On top of that, man, I am pumped about this LWRC. The 6 8 hammered him. I mean, I don't think we had any pigs get off tonight. Big 6 8 fan over here. And uh, to be honest with you, I think I, I think I shot 21 rounds in about two or three seconds. So uh, shout out to CMC Triggers on that one. Pigs gave us a run for our money tonight, but we got it done. We think, how many we say we got, right? 13 or 14 pigs, but a couple of good big ones. Oh, Ryan got the mag dumps on, so he had fun. <laughs> and uh, cameraman put it out. He 
got some on his first shot, so pretty impressive. I want to give a shout out to Reese Outdoors for the chest packs and Garden to Fin out of Sealsby, Texas. And uh, can't do without our local guys. And the Fusions, they did their job tonight, so pretty impressed. So on to the next one.